hello dear friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world i'd like to welcome you back again to this news thank you for reaching out to us thank you for liking our channel thank you for subscribing thank you for also being there for us thank you for your support constantly we appreciate you guys massively thank you for your comments at the comment section kindly keep them coming they are interesting and we appreciate them i'd like to quickly crave your indulgence to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you. Straight to the news. Kano State Governor Abdullah Ganduji chases Igbo transporters from Kano State. The Kano State government during the weekend directed operators of the luxurious bus intercity transporters to brace up and vacate their Sabongeri base immediately. The federal government leave said the interstate travel ban. The government decision was conveyed through the managing director, Kano Road and Traffic Agency Karota, Bafa Baba Dan Danagondi, at a meeting with the leadership of luxurious bus operators on Friday. Mr. Dan Agundi stated that the state government has directed that henceforth all luxurious bus operators in the state relocate to Naibawa Motor Park. He said that the new directives means immediately after the interstate traveling ban is lifted, the luxurious buses will no longer operate from the Sabongeri New Road Park but from the new park on Zaria Road. The Karota boss explained that the state government took the decision not to inconvenience them but for the betterment of the entire state as efforts have been made to ensure that adequate security of lives and property is being provided in the state. He assured the transporters that adequate security have been put in place at the Naibawa Park to allow smooth operation of the buses and that the agency would work with the union to ensure that every other need requires a lift or requires to lift up their businesses would be put in place. In his reaction, the secretary of the luxurious boss union, Kano Branch, Mr. Godson Wokome, said that the union has been notified of the state government's decision, but has however raised issues of concern which they hope the state government would address. Mr. Godson Wokome our concerns are not new and were once tabled before the state government when it attempted to relocate them previously, which led to the reconsideration of the move. The secretary therefore appealed to Karota, to the Karota boss, to convey their concern while in the interim allow them to continue their businesses from the Sabungeri Park. He however said, nonetheless, the union will abide by the state government's directive and accord it their support for the growth of the state. So basically, it's not as if they are being um, chased out, you know, from Kano State as it were, or chased out of the state not to operate, but they are being relocated from inside the town to an outskirts part of the town, Zaria Road. If you know Kano very well or if you travel that route, you know where Zaria Road is, you know it's an outskirt. So it only means that these guys, are the, the luxurious buses uh, park are going to be on that road that leads out, that is already on the outskirts of the city that leads outside of Kano State. So it only means that a lot of inconveniences for passengers, you know, passengers who find it easy to go to Sabungeri and other places will now have to travel outside of almost outside of Sabungeri, outside of the city, to Zaria Road to go and board vehicles. And also there are security challenges also at that Zaria Road, and which I want to believe that is what the Secretary of the Luxurious Sports Union, Kano Branch, has been talking about, that, this, that they have concerns. Well, be that as it is, it's a new terrain, it's a new place for them to actually operate. So uh, passengers will find it difficult definitely to actually get to that places and whereby they also would actually have to acclimatize to the new uh the 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 new uh 
location that they have been given to but it remains to be seen how it affects their business and how it affects the running of things and uh, movement of goods services and passengers as it were but it's what it is what are your thoughts guys let's quickly take a few reaction and hear what people are saying a jolly dozier says the state has subtly taken the evil to another part of the state to develop after the once rejected Sabungeri has been developed into a mega city by the Igbos. Very soon, the state will take the Igbo outside the state to one of the most neglected local government areas, which the government couldn't develop to develop. It is what it is. Another person says, Please move out of Sabungeri, go to Naibawas. Gradually, Igbos are taking over Sabungeri, and we won't allow that to happen. Even your businesses in Sabungeri will be reviewed. Igbos don't own Kano. We don't have areas like this in Igbo land. Biko Fueba. Okay. Afolabi Dada says, Ganduje relocates them to another jungle that is where they belong. Very proud and arrogant people. They have no respect or any regards for their host tribes. It will soon be Lagos turn for them. Really? This is sad. Even Nepal says, and very soon, Ibo will develop and dominate the new sites. Then you will, you will, ex you will complain again. They will move out, but watch, not distant time. You will, you will start another complaint. Okay, will that be the case, or what are your thoughts concerning these ideas? An opinion. Okoye Namde says, Ganduje, we hope our Ibo's are safe. I urge you people to be more careful over there. All right, you should consider the security implications. It is only the living that does business. Shine your eyes, says Cyril Obasi. Another person says, Ganduje, go ahead and relocate them to wherever you feel is better for your people in your land. Don't allow them to dictate to you. Okay. Felix says, that's a very bad area. Naibawa does not have enough space to park and load those buses and it's extra expenses for Igbos to go back to Sabongeri. This is too bad. Ricky John says, if you like, relocate Igbos to a thick forest. Igbos will still develop there and turn it into a city. It's a gift from God. Take away power from them, but you can't take away commerce from them. Another person says, I think Kano is no man's land. Thank you for putting them where they belong, says Kolawale Ogunwale. Esteem says, so Igbos, Igbos full Kano too? When are no serious at all. Igbos are everywhere, all over the world, not just in Nigeria, all over the world. They are everywhere. They dominate. That is how they operate. Umar Adamo says, they can as well leave Kano if they choose to. We don't want hateful people amongst us anyway. Okay. Another person says, why is Ganduje foolishly trying to relocate the new road, uh, new road Sabongeri Park to Naibawa? We are not in support of this nonsense. Okay. Another person says, Naibawa is made up of miscreants, smokers, almajiris. So please shine your eyes, oh Franco Francis says. Awalu Abdullahi says, good. This is due to the several arrests of abduction of children from Sabongeri Motu Park to the eastern park of the country. Okay. To live in Kano is not by force. Ndibo, Ndibo, Ndibo. You all, you all know the meaning of the three times wake up call in Igbo land. Have the leadership of the park, have the leadership of the park pondered over the security implication of this carefully deceitful bait to lure you out of your secured zone to an area prone to untold uncertainty? Please shine your eyes. Well, it is what it is. Um, Charles Ugu says, when you see actions like these and compare it with the willful exclusion of Igbos from capital projects to be executed with foreign loans, you begin to understand that Igbos in APC, who always justify those loans, don't deserve any respect. Now, Igbo land will not benefit from any federal transportation infrastructure from foreign loans, and the little space they manage in the, in the benefiting states are taken away from them. 
well it is what it is i don't think it's a matter it's been taken away from there they are just being relocated to a new place well we could call it part of development of the state and all what have you but it is what it is if they are not being it's not been taken away from them they are just actually relocating them to a new place would definitely they will develop and um, will make that place much more better well it's what it is what are your thoughts kindly drop by the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now